We've got it. Our formation in the backfield. Here's Bogan shoots going down the near sideline, and it's intended for Shannon. And he got sort of tangled up with the defender, and it falls incomplete down at about the eight yard line. Well, I think he it was, you know, he didn't get off of his. They jammed him, and he lost his footing, and didn't ever get back into the pattern. But they're going to have to teach him to use his hands and keep that guy off of him. All right. So Pipkin was in for one play. Now he comes back out. Callaway is back in. We're going to send. Rutherford, and uh, that's going to be Shannon to the right, I mean to the left. Got two receivers to the right. That's going to be Ingram and Pope. Bogan shoots, giving directions. Steps back into the shotgun now. Snap back to Bogan shoots. Good protection. Going to go right with it. And this one is almost intercepted, almost caught, and it goes incomplete. <laughs> yeah, the, the defender jumped the route perfectly, and it went through his hands, and then it went through Pope's hands. It was kind of had a tipped you know how passes are when they tip it's hard to keep your eyes on them but uh, the defender jumped the route that time third down and 10 third and 10 after two straight incomplete passes and bogan shoots going to be in the gun once again here 859 to play in the third quarter carthage has had the football now for three minutes and one second here in the second half Carthage up by a score of 14 to nothing. Third and 10. Bogan shoots. Play action fake. Goes with the screen to the right side to Bowman. Bowman inside now to the 25. Inside the 25. He was on the right side. Cut back to the middle of the field and gets down to the 22. A gain of seven. It's going to bring up fourth and three from the NAC 22. That was a screen from the outside coming in, and he caught it against the grain and got good yardage uh, for that situation. But... Well, now we're sitting with a fourth down. We've got 8.38 here in the third. We're ahead 14 to 0. 14 zip is the score. Let's see the Bulldogs with a fourth down call coming up here. Fourth and three at the Nacogdoches 22 yard line. All right, we're going to send two receivers to the left. That's Pope and Shannon. Michi Bowman split out to the right. Here's Bogan shoots. Play action fake. He rolls to the right. He throws. It's caught by Cage. Cage to the 15. Cage down to at the 10-yard line for a first down. It's going to be knocked out of bounds at the 11 after a pickup on the play of about 12 yards. Yeah, and they're, and they're uh, doubling out there on Pope on the left side of the field, so we bootleg away from that, and then he releases from his block out in the flat wide open. Good yardage. All right, a gain of 11 yards on that pass play to Clint Cage. Gives Carthage a first down, and it's going to be at the, we'll call it at the Nacogdoches 12-yard line. We send Shannon to the left, and Pope is split out to the right. Here's Bogan shoots, handoff Pipkin. Pipkin up the middle, runs into one of his own blockers, bounces off of him down to about the six-yard line. Good tough run there by Tevin Pipkin. Yeah, he got hit as hard as I've seen him get hit by his own lineman this year. Uh, who was trying to, I guess, come back and chase a blocker down. 7.50 left in the third. 14 nothing dogs trying to score again. All right, we'll call that a six-yard gain for Pipkin down to the Nacogdoches six. It is second and four at the Nacogdoches six-yard line. A wing left this time. Bogan shoots under center. Hand off Pipkin. Pipkin left side. Hit hard. And then he is down at the five-yard line. A gain of only one. Yeah, he got stuffed. Uh, that who nobody blocked that young man, and that young man looks like he weighs about 250, 260, and Tevin weighs about 160, 170. And that was a mismatch at that point. But uh, we need to get maybe some more Callaway in here. Keep All our right. running back from getting hurt. Third down and three. Third and three for the Bulldogs at the Nacogdoches five yard line. Seven minutes left to play in the third quarter so this is a five minute long drive right now third and three at the Nacogdoches five and we have a timeout called and we'll take a break here at Bulldog Stadium Carthage up 14 nothing back right after this every time that uh, we leave it unattended Larry it goes to uh, get to start over again so here's the Courtney Construction of Carthage knows the oil field and pipeline business. Courtney Construction provides equipment and labor for pipeline jobs, facility installations and repairs, compressor installations, pit closures and reclamations. Courtney Construction can provide the equipment, personnel and resources required to install up to 24 inch pipe. Courtney Construction has the labor, the equipment and the know-how. So call 903-694-2911. Courtney Construction, Highway 79 North in Carthage. 
Open the door to new opportunities with Farmer State Bank. Whatever your banking needs may be, Farmer State Bank can help. We care about your financial well-being and want to help you make the right decisions. Come in and let our friendly, knowledgeable staff tell you about the different products and services available to meet those needs. If you do not know how easy banking at Farmer State Bank can be, let us show you today. We cannot wait for you to join our family. Farmers is an FDIC member and equal housing lender. All right, it is now third down, third down and three for the Bulldogs at the Nacogdoches five-yard line. Here's Bogan Shoes rolling to his right. He throws, and this one is picked off. This may go all the way for Nacogdoches. Here's one man chasing him. He's going to score. He's to the 50, to the 40. Chasing him is Callaway. He's not going to catch him. It's going to be an interception return for the Nacogdoches Dragons of about 95 yards, and it's now a 14-6 ball game. Oh, that's a momentum changer there. Earlier in the in the first half, he had thrown one out there that uh, had double coverage. Uh, he, I don't know if that was by design that uh, he threw that out there or not, uh, and a lazy throw like that. But the, the defender jumped the route and took it all the way to the house. So Nacogdoches scores on a long interception return. I called it about 95. Uh, that's just an approximation, pretty close to where to the length of it. And it is now 14 to 6, Carthage, 6.40 to play. So the Bulldogs with a long drive, and it appeared that we were about to score, and all of a sudden, Knack takes it the other direction. We await the extra point attempt. Here is the snap. The kick is away, and it is going to be good. And it's 14-7, Carthage, with 6.40 to go in the third quarter. We'll be back from Bulldog Stadium right after this break. Since 1951, Pippin Motor Company has been serving you, the residents of Panola and surrounding counties. I'm Will Blackwell, and I want to personally invite you to buy your next newer pre-owned vehicle from us. Quality GM products, top dollar for trade-ins, low interest rates, large rebates, and a no-pressure sales experience. What better place to buy your next new or pre-owned vehicle? That's Pippin Motor Company across from Panola College, 693-6691, or on the web at PippinMotorCompany.com. When it's time to grill in the backyard, you want to put your best foot forward. How do you do that? By shopping at Bill's Meat Market in Carthage. Bill has only the very best beef and pork. Steaks cut to your liking. Brisket, ribeye racks, tenderloins. And don't forget about that delicious sausage. All at Bill's Meat Market. Bill's Meat Market and Catering. 1317 West Panola. If you want that pat on the back for the best cooking in town, shop at Bill's in Carthage. All right, we're back at Bulldog Stadium, and we're going to go down and uh, get Dustin Burns' comments here in just a second. Boy, that is heartbreak city right there for the Bulldogs. Long, long drive, over five minutes, and we were to their five-yard line, and all of a sudden a pass was thrown out in the right flat, and the Nacogdoches defender timed it perfectly, cut in front of our intended receiver, and he sped down the near sideline about 95 yards for the touchdown. Here's the kick, pretty good kick. We're going to return it from the 11. This is Bowman up to the 20, the 25. And he went down, they say, short of the 30-yard line. Okay, Dustin, down to you. Yeah, you're right, Larry. It was, about, it was a 95-yard uh, interception turn for a touchdown. But, you know, any other time when we have a good run game established, you know, we'll run that ball down there instead of throw it. And I know that... You know, we uh, Pipkin's a little banged up, and DK's uh, Callaway's doing a great job running the ball. But any other time, you know, we run, we run the ball down there, and we take it in the end zone. But we're, we're still having a little trouble getting these, these defensive tackles blocked. That one play where Tevin ran the ball and got hit, you know, we had a defensive tackle slip in there and uh, beat one of our offensive linemen. And he had a good hole. He was just a open field solo tackle. But, you know, not having that running game really established, even though we are using two backs, is, is hurting us, you know, especially down there in the red zone. All right, first and 10 for Carthage at our 29. Bogan shoots under center. Handoff goes to Callaway. Callaway up the middle to the 30, 35, straight up the middle and has about nine yards and is going to be less than a yard shy of the first down. Well, that was a good run there by DK. Uh, I like that. I like we got a two-headed monster back there. Need, need to give Pipkin some rest. And uh, we've got 6-10 left in the second, third quarter. 14 to 7, we are ahead. But, you know, we got a sophomore quarterback. They're going to make mistakes. I don't care who they are. Second down and one for the Carthage Bulldogs at their own 38 yard line. 
Bogan shoots under center. Shannon split to the left. Pope to the right. Here's Bogan shoots. Play action fake. Going to go deep for Pope. And it is going to be incomplete. Interference is going to be called right here. A flag comes down. Two flags. And let's see who this one's going to be against. It was a little bit underthrown. And a couple of flags came in. Nagadoches, you can't do that in high school football. Okay, I'm sure he looked like he pointed offensive pass interference. But maybe not. Maybe he's going to get a 15-yard penalty here. But he looked like he pointed and then went t towards Carthage. So let's and see. They're going to mark this off from the line of scrimmage. Nakado just backing up. Okay. It's going to be 15 against them. Yeah, Pope had it. He was, he was in the open. Just a little bit short throw by Bogey. 542 left. Now we're down in their territory. We're ahead 14-7. A 95-yard interception return on the last play from our offensive scrimmage, the possession before. And that's the reason that uh, Nacogdoches is in this game. First and 10 for Carthage now at the Nacogdoches 47-yard line. Bogan shoots under center. We've got two receivers split out to the left and one to the right. Here's the handoff. It goes to Callaway. Callaway, right side, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, inside the 20-yard line, down to the 17. That's going to be a pickup of 30. Let's ride that horse tonight. That boy's playing ball tonight. He's got – now we've got a player down on the field, so this is KJS. We'll be back right after this. At Citizens Bank in Carthage, we want you to not only feel like a customer, but like one of our extended family. Citizens Bank would like to help you build that dream home, buy a first home, or relocate to a larger residence. The friendly loan staff at Citizens Bank can make those dreams come true. Come by our Carthage location and speak to Sonia Hathorne about your options. Citizens Bank is an equal housing lender, member FDIC. Because we stand for your success. East Texas is a wonderful community, and at Panola National Bank, we're proud to call it home. That's why you'll find our bank and our employees helping others wherever you look, from supporting local schools to helping with local charity events. We're part of the fabric that weaves this community and its people together. When it comes to your money, local is better. We provide sensible banking services so we can help our community grow. Panola National Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Monty Bacon and the staff at Carthage Furniture will keep you cool during the summer. Frigidaire 5000 BTU 110 volts that will cool one room only $145. 12000 BTU Frederick Air Conditioner 110 volts and it cools two rooms only $449. A 15000 BTU Frigidaire Air Conditioner 110 volt cools three rooms only $499. And an 18000 Frederick Air Conditioner 220 volts cools four rooms only $599. Behind the car wash on West Panola, Carthage Furniture. All right, we have 5.31 left to go in the third quarter. Dustin, we're going to go down to you after this next play here. Carthage leading 14-7. to seven. And I believe I saw Justin Williams going in there, so I think he's going to be the tailback. We've seen Tevin Pipkin. We've seen uh, D.K. Callaway. Callaway now with 74 yards on seven carries, so that's a little bit over 10 yards per carry, and it is Justin Williams at tailback. <coughs> Two receivers to the left. Here's handoff to Williams. Williams left side, 15, down to the 10. Williams inside with some nice, fresh legs in there, and he is down to about the 8-yard line. You know, the defense has not even been on the field here in the second half, and so Williams picks up about 9 yards. Yeah, and he ran right – he had a real good hole, and he's kind of banged up now. They're bringing him out. So uh, he put his head down and tried to run over somebody. Looks like he may have a cramp the way he's walking. Gilmer still tied with Liberty Allo 7-7 seven to seven in the third quarter. Okay, Williams comes out, and it's Callaway back in there. Shannon split out to the left, and two receivers to the right. Here's a handoff to Callaway. Callaway left side. He's to the five, and is going to have a first down. It's going to be first and uh, go for the Bulldogs after a three-yard run by D.K. Callaway. You know, I think we've just decided we get out here close to the end zone, we're going to do like Dustin says. We're going to establish the run uh, instead of trying to throw a pass out in the flat. But we, we you never know what Surratt's going to do, though. Never know. 